I don't think Danone changed the rules because uh, we, we, are, we are a classic company. We are there to make profit. We are not in a charity business. The main difference is we consider that the role of a company is not only to do profit, but also to take care of what we call the ecosystem. It means the company is not only between four walls, you impact also around. So that's the reason why we decide also to adapt ourselves to be sure that we will create a model which will work, uh, for example, in emerging countries where people have very, very low income. And at the beginning, the first reason of that was that the mission of our company is to bring health through food to the maximum number of people. So to the maximum number of people, if you want to reach the maximum number of people, you can't just speak to the people having a very high revenue, uh, which uh, allowed them to pay for a very sophisticated product. So that's the reason why we develop a strategy called affordability. But that was not enough, because in some countries, uh, people have two euros per, per day to live. And that's the reason why we decide to enter in what we call the social business, which is to uh, try to develop a product bringing health through the different nutriment to the children, for example, for people having two euros per day. The classic model of Danone, with a lot of advertising and research and uh, high premium product, was not uh, really adapt to achieve the mission, to reach the maximum number of consumers. So one day I discussed this with uh, Mohamed Yunus. I have a lunch with him. I explained to him our affordable strategy. He explained to me the Grameen Bank, explaining to me that uh, uh, in the Grameen Bank, you don't have to sign a paper, you check hand. So I stand up and I check hand. And he asked me why. So I, I listen to you and the Grameen Bank. You listen to me and my affordable strategy. I'm sure we can deliver something in your country for the poor people having a lack of nutriment. And that starts like this. The return for us, and I am not afraid to use the term return. You know, return is not only finance. Return is, on top of everything, the, the uh, accomplishment of the people, of the management of your company. You have to give to them sense, not only money. They have to know exactly why they are working, why they are developing. And it's not a, just a question of bonus. It's not just a question of uh, how, much money, how much money they will do at the end of the year. So by doing this together, we give sense to the management of Danone. And I am totally convinced that if now since 15 years, we deliver to the shareholder what they expect, it's not only because we have good product or big brands or a lot of money, it's also because the people in the company, every morning, they wake up having something in mind which is different than the others. That's the best return. And after that, I can, I can find many other returns uh, on, on, on this business with, with Mohamed Yunus and Gramin Danone in Bangladesh. For example, if you want to, if you want to sell a 8 cents of euros dairy product, bringing 30% of the nutriment to the children per day. If you want to do this, you have to reinvent your process. You have to find new supplier. You have to reinvent the way you distribute the product. So what we learned there, we can replicate that in a country where perhaps it's not necessary, but that will improve also the result of the company. So it's a, it's a global return. Another example, just to finish on that, you know, a company, you must attract the talent, the new talent, the new generation. This new generation is not going to focus just on money. They will focus on, a, let's say, a, a balance between their private life, what they give to the other, the money they make. So that kind of product develop also a kind of attractivity for our company to attract new talent for tomorrow. So I can, I can spend a day on the return on that.